Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSets that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video comes from the Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee line, Worlds Collide 4-Pack. And I gotta give a huge shout out to my buddy Brad, who found this set for me in Texas. He sent me a quick message saying, hey, I just found the Worlds Collide 4-Pack, do you want it? And I'm like, hell yes, sent him a quick PayPal transaction, and two days later, this is in my hands. Now, the main figure I wanted out of this whole set was Nemesis Primal here, but this is a pretty good deal for $84.99, which is retail price. You get the $30 Primal, $20 Fangry, $20 Bumblebee, and $20 Black Arachnia. So it, it's not a bad deal for these figures. Granted, do we really need another mold of Cliff Jumper there, who's now Bumblebee? So real quick, let's take a look at the packaging. You've got Buzzworthy, Bumblebee, Worlds Collide, all the figures are here in robot mode. And what's cool about this packaging, or a little bit different, is the front has plastic, but the top in this honeycomb design has holes in it. So you can kind of stick your fingers right through there. Now there is something rattling around in here, but if you look through the top, there's a sealed section right here. So I'm assuming that's yeah, that sounds like instructions, maybe a couple of the uh, accessories, but we'll find out when we open the packaging. Side of the box, you've got yellow Autobot logo, there's Bumblebee on this side, and back of the packaging, you've got all the figures in robot modes and vehicle modes. Now, what I'm gonna do for this review is I'm gonna break this down into four different reviews, one per figure, because this is a big set, I really don't want to make a really long video, so I'm going to break it down. That way you guys can watch the review on whichever figure you choose. And for my third review, we're going to take a look at Black Arachnia. So now, without further ado, let's get this box opened up and check her out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Black Arachnia all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see she does come with a sheet of instructions. And, of course, these are the same instructions that cover all four of the figures in the Worlds Collide pack. So this is one massive sheet of instructions. I mean, it unfolds to the size of a poster. But since Black Arachnia is a repaint of Kingdom Black Arachnia, you should know how to transform her if you have that figure. She also comes with her hook weapon and i really like the collar scheme on this you got the purple main section here the black hook and the silver tips that looks really really good now we take a look at black arachnia herself and i really like the looks of this figure this this didn't interest me at all as far as the four pack was concerned but after i got her out and started looking at her i really like her now, her color scheme is to represent her box art or package art from the original 1990s toy. 
though I do think they took some liberty with her leopard brassiere here. I think that's a little wild looking. I mean, she looks like she got her fashion sense from Peg Bundy. Now, taking a closer look at the head sculpt, the head sculpt is the only difference, aside from the paint, from Kingdom Black Arachnia, and this looks really, really good. I love the sculpted details. The eyes look great. The mouth plate looks awesome. I mean, they really did a good job on that. In the original Beast Wars toy, that was the original robot head. It had a mutant head that covered this one up, and that's the head that they used for Tarantulas in the show, but that was pretty much what Black Arachnia looked like, or so they changed her for the TV show as well. But man, she just looks so good. The head is a little loose, though. I'm going to have to fix that with some pledge. I mean, these uh, World's Collides figures are all about using the pledge. But the rest of the joints, she's nice and tight. Much better than Fangry from my last review. So going on over more of the paint scheme, we got, of course, the leopard top here. Got some stripes down there on the claws. Nice shiny look to the abs. Got the green dots right there. Down on the legs, you got more black stripes. Lots of nice sculpted details. I mean, I really, really like this figure. She looks so good. Now let's bring in Kingdom Black Arachnia so we can compare. There's a lot of legs right here. So, I mean, with her color scheme, it definitely looks like she could be a different character. But man, I love this. She, she just looks so good. I'm going to actually pose these two together. It just amazes me because I had no intention on really keeping this figure. I had no desire to add her to my collection. But man, she just looks awesome. Now let's go into articulation. The same as Black Arachnia. But I want to show hers off because if you just saw my Fangry review, Fangry was ridiculously loose. But Black Arachne here, arms are up and down, can do a complete 360, bend at the elbow. There is a rotation right there. There you are going to flip these spider legs around. And these are nice and articulated as well and tight. I mean, nothing is flopping around with this figure. There is no waist articulation. She does have that same floppy chest right here, but it looks like that's shaved down. A lot of people were complaining about their black arachnia chest breaking. Mine did not. It just really didn't have much of a peg there to begin with. Legs in and out, forward and backwards. There is a double knee bend. Well, no, it's just a very deep knee bend. And ankle tilt and some ankle movements there as well. I mean, the head is the only issue I have with her. She just looks awesome, and I couldn't be happier with this robot mode. So now let's take a look at Black Arachnia after I get her stood up in spider mode. Now, Black Arachnia's spider mode is okay. It's not near as flamboyant as her robot mode, but still looks pretty good. One word of warning, though, this little section right here, that green spike, tends to pop off. It popped off four times while I was transforming this figure, so watch that one right there. But she still looks really good, very colorful, and fairly faithful to the original Beast Wars toy. I keep wanting to say G1, but I guess that is. The original Beast Wars is their version of G1. So there is Black Arachnia in her spider mode, and let's compare her to Kingdom Black Arachnia, which I think is a much better spider. I guess, well, either one will work. I, I personally hate spiders myself. This figure still impresses me, the fact that you've got a robot that can turn into a spider, so that's really cool. So there you go, guys. There is Buzzworthy Bumblebee's Worlds Collide Black Arachnia in spider mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee Worlds Collide Black Arachnia with Kingdom Beast Megatron, Kingdom Black Arachnia, and Generation Selects Nightbird. I just can't rave enough about Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee Worlds Collide Black Arachnia, and I think rave is the perfect word. Her collar scheme is just amazing. It's off the wall, 
but it's amazing and she looks so good. I love the head sculpt. I love the color scheme. This figure just pops and I am just thrilled to death to have her in my collection. Now I did mention earlier that I think that she got her fashion sense from Peg Bundy. After cleaning my closet the other day, I think my wife got her fashion sense from Peg Bundy. I am so glad she doesn't watch my channel. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews, including the final figure in the Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee Worlds Collide 4-Pack, Bumblebee himself. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!